This is Mildred. It's Wednesday, August 13, 2008. I didn't get any new calls from my marketing, but I was able to reach several people I hadn't talked to before and um, set three appointments today. I also did one presentation as well as follow up with my new builder and her friend. Um, I had no new customers in my organization yesterday. Since I'm only leading one person at the moment, I guess just helping her work through her fears by sharing my fears and encouraging her um, to add names to her contact list as well as sharing my experiences of approaching people that I know um, is the way that I'm leading by example. I had the opportunity today to make a decision um, that was not necessarily a popular one. My kids planned a picnic for this evening. It was just one of those spontaneous um, let's go to the lake and everybody bring their own food kind of thing. No particular reason or anything. And I did tell my daughter when she first mentioned it this morning that um, I would possibly not be going because um, if I was able to set appointments for that time frame that I would I did not want to have that booked if I was able to, to do that um, so that I would only join the picnic if I had no appointments well someone else let me know very quickly that that was not really an acceptable decision um, but I just kept reminding myself that as long as I'm not hurting anyone um, they don't necessarily have to like what I'm doing so I stayed home and I was able to set the second and third appointments during the time that they were gone. So I did keep fighting the guilt feelings, um, just uh, again by reminding myself I don't have to feel guilty because I, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm not keeping anyone else from enjoying their picnic. Um, so I just, you know, I, it's okay for me to have made this decision and I don't have to feel bad about it. I can't say that I was 100% successful in not feeling guilty but I did make and stick to my decision and that that did feel good I've been thinking about the challenge that was put out Monday morning on the leaders call uh, about approaching strangers about our business Now I don't get out and about very often and so I was a bit hesitant to take that challenge um, partly because I wasn't sure that I would actually be physically in a position where I would have strangers to talk to so um, in, in talking to my builder today and trying to f come up with names f for her contact list I noticed that she was kind of doing the same thing of people that she knows but she's afraid to talk to and I realized that I also have um, people that are still on my list that I have not ever approached about my business because I was afraid of what they would think and I didn't want to be seen as the pushy person so I am giving myself the challenge to approach at least three acquaintances um, by Monday. I'll probably use the can you help me approach, but it may be different for everyone. Um, but whatever I use, I am committing to three by Monday, and I will be reporting here how that goes. Um, so my thinking work mainly right now is just re revolving around becoming aware of the um, negative thoughts that I have and figuring out what to replace those with as well as um, maybe stepping a little bit outside of my comfort zone and and doing some things that I haven't been willing to do before because of, of the fears that I have.